Hi everyone, my, myself Neela Avati from Balavi. My qualification is B.Sc. PCM and uh, this is my first demo class. And uh, here I am going to take a linear equations in one variable. This is chapter of class 8. Now first, key, before starting a uh, chapter, linear equations in one variable, let us know what is uh, meant by expression and an equation. For expression, example, 2x plus 3. This is an expression since it is not equating to any other values or it is not having any LHS or RHS. When we come across an equation, it is meant that 2x plus 3 is equal to 7. This is an example. In this, this equals to sign indicates this indicates that this LHS side is equal to RHS. Now, um, let us know. This uh, video linear equation. What do you mean by linear equation? Linear equation is nothing but x plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 7. As in this, the highest power of an variable should be the 1. It is nothing but the linear equations. Linear equations. For linear equations, highest power highest power should be one. For another, highest power of variable is one. Now, if two x square plus three x plus five is equal to nine, this is not a linear equation. It is a quadratic equation since its highest uh, power is uh, highest power of a variable is two. So, this is not a linear equation. We get the linear equations only for the variables which is having the highest power 1. Hmm. Now let us see how to solve the linear equations in one variable. For these two types are there. Uh, the equations in which only variables are only one side. Next type is the equations in which the variables are on both the sides. Now for this on uh, variables on one side, let us take an example. X minus 7 is equal to 3. Okay. For this, what we can do? Let us plus or minus 7. Since my plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. So, let, um, so um, we shall add a 7 on both the sides. Because it is an equation, we have to take whatever we add or subtract, we have to take on both the sides. That is x minus 7 plus 7 is equal to 3 plus 7. Here, this is a 0 and x is equal to 10. Now, next type that is expressions on both the sides. That means we will get an expression on both the sides. This is one expression and this is one expression. In this type of equations, we have to... Um, Take the variables on one side and numericals on the other side. When we are taking the variables, when we are transporting variables also, the variables get their it, uh, signs also change. For example, here, see here, 2x, let us take this um, variable to our LHS, that is minus x is equal to 2. This numerical is transported to RHS, that is plus 3. Now, 2x minus x is x, x is equal to 5. Let us now enter into the word problems in which the question will be given in this form, sentence form, and we have to reduce this into a equation form and solve the problem. Now, in this equation, let us take an example of this question. Arjun is twice as old as Shriya. Five years ago, his age was three times Shriya's age. Uh, find the present age. We have to find the present age. Now, let us take that Shriya's age is x. Let Shriya's age is x. The x. Now, Arjun's age is twice as old as Shriya. Twice. Means we have to multiply by 2. Arjun's age. Arjun's age is twice as old as Shriya. That means 2x. Now, 5 years ago his age was 3 times Shriya's age. Now we have to find what was the age of Shriya and Arjun 5 years back. Let us take 
5 years ago Shriya's age is x minus 5 that means we have to go back to 5 years ago means we have to go back so x minus 5 Ajun's age will be x minus 5. Now let us equate both the uh, ages. That is 5 years ago his age was 3 times Shriya's age. Here Arjun's age was 3 times Shriya's age. The ages of Shriya is x minus 5 and Arjun's age is 2x minus 5. 3 times Shriya's age means we have to multiply the present age of Shriya 3 times. See. 2x minus 5 is equal to 3x minus 5. x minus 5 is the age of Shriya. And so 3 times Shriya's age. 3 times Shriya's age. So 2x minus 5 is equal to 3x minus 15. Let us see. Minus 5 plus 15 is equal to 3x minus 2x. Now, 10 is equal to x. x is equal to 10. This is x is 10. This is the age of Shriya. But we have to find the present age. We got x is equal to 10. That means the present age of Shriya is 10 because we take we took Shriya's age as x. So, this is a Shriya's age. Shriya's age. Now, Arjun's age is twice as the Shriya's age. Arjun's age is equal to 2x. So, 20 years. Now, once we, are, we shall recall all what we have learned. That means, first we have no noticed the difference between expression and equation and next we have solved the expressions having only variables on one side and the other type the expressions having the variables on both the sides so and um, reducing the expression to the simpler form and word problems after all finding we have used in this some of the uh, um, methods that means well we, we have come to know that the solutions what we get is the rational numbers and uh, the variables what are there, you know, the solutions. Variables will get only a variant numericals and those variant numericals is the solutions of a given expression or an equation. Uh, transporting the variable only the numericals while transporting only the numericals the sign will change. But in this we have learned that by, by transporting the variables also the sign gets changed. That is from plus to minus, minus to plus, multiplication to division, division to multiplication. Thank you.